Hello and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I will be doing a It Gets Better video. Um, before I even start I definitely want to say thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I hope you enjoy the video. I was on YouTube just deciding what video I wanted to do next. It's been about a week since I posted a video and I have been dying to get back in front of the camera and try to figure out what I wanted to do. Um, and I came across a few of the It Gets Better and It Got Better videos. Um, and I think they are amazing videos, um, especially because when I was growing up, I didn't have um, those type of videos um, for like, it wasn't easy for me to find those type of videos you know like just to know that my story could possibly touch somebody or help somebody um, is encouraging to me and so I want to be an encouragement to someone else um, so basically I mean I came out at the age of 13 years old um, I first came out to my grandmother who um, kind of told me you know she already knew um, and so I felt like after I told my grandmother that I would be able to tell all my friends. So growing up, I was definitely teased a lot. Um, I was a lot more feminine um, than the other boys who um, were in my neighborhood. Um, I didn't play sports. I wasn't very rough. I always kind of had a switch to my walk. My voice was always a little bit higher um, than most guys. And because of that, uh, I was kind of a target and I got picked on. Um, I want to say I was called gay before I even actually knew what gay was and so um, that now that I think about it um, is crazy to me um, but it is how the cookie crumbled um, I remember um, at a very very young age just being teased a lot um, being made fun of um, there was a group of guys who actually lived next door to me um, I was actually friends with their sister and um, they definitely made it a point to pick on me um, all the time um, they they were just mean they were nasty um, and back when I was younger I really didn't understand it and I couldn't understand it I didn't understand why people um, were so mean or people said such hurtful words um, and so I just remember one day um, going home to my grandmother and crying after an incident had occurred um, this group of guys had cornered me and started calling me names and started um, <clears throat> spitting on me and just really doing some very awful things um, and I remember um, getting away and going into the house and crying to my grandmother because um, I didn't really understand why someone would be mean to me um, I wasn't a mean kid um, and so I couldn't understand <clears throat> So my grandmother um, had a conversation with me and she told me that I uh, was definitely different um, and that people were going to treat me differently because they were not going to understand who I was and that I was going to have to um, really just find people who accepted me for me. Um, Thinking about it now, being so young and hearing my grandmother say those words to me um, was definitely eye-opening and now I think about it, encouraging, you know. She knew um, the struggles that I um, was going to face um, and she just kept it real with me. She didn't try to sugarcoat anything. She didn't say that people were going to like me like she told me how it was and as a 24-year-old now, I appreciate those words. Um, so I'll fast forward to middle school when I finally decided I'm going to start telling people this is who I am. I think in middle school I just couldn't hide it anymore. Um, I just didn't have the same feelings as other boys did. The conversations weren't the same. Um, I didn't look at girls the same. I always thought girls um, were pretty, yes, um, but I never had that physical attraction that other guys spoke of when it came 
to young ladies. And so I, um, of course, started telling just a friend at a time, you know, just slowly kind of, you know, hinting to it or telling people or, um, and it was funny, it was crazy because at the time, even some of my friends who I told would tell me that they had feelings for the same sex. And so it was like, uh, oh, you know, I'm not the only one. Eventually word um, just kind of got around school and people kind of found out. And so people made their own assumptions and um, I lost some friends, I gained some friends. Um, I had friends who I thought were my best friends. <laughs> and um, just really turned their back on me and got really nasty. Um, but then I gained a lot of friends too that helped me um, throughout my middle school time. And then when I got into high school, um, I wanna say like my ninth grade year was a little rough for me only because I transferred to a totally different school district. Um, so none of these kids I knew um, and so it was a little challenging in the beginning. Um, I remember in high school just telling myself that I had to keep busy. Like I had to, I had to join a lot of clubs. I had to be active in school because that was the way I gained people's respect. Um, if I was president of clubs, people respected me and people wanted to talk to me. Or if I hung out with all the popular kids or if I made friends with the cheerleaders, like people wanted to talk to me and hang out with me. And so my goal in high school was to stay very, very busy. If you saw me, I was going to an activity or I was doing something or I was singing with choir or I was in student government or I was in a college preparatory class. It was something um, that kept me busy and kept people seeing me, you know, so that way it didn't, you know, people still had the opportunity to talk about me and I want to say that people still talked about me, I'm sure, but in my head, I was busy, so I didn't even really have time to focus on that kind of stuff. Um, and then, of course, towards the end of my high school career, uh, my senior year was awesome. Uh, I made a lot of friends. Um, and I enjoyed it. Um, it wasn't as hard as it was being in elementary school or being in middle school and having all these kids make fun of you or um, call you different names. And um, as I got older and I went through college and um, being 24 years old now, um, it's amazing to see how the world has accepted LGBT um, things, issues, and people. Um, you know, a couple years ago, there weren't even conversations about homosexual people. There wasn't conversations about transsexual people. Um, and I think we still have a lot of growing to do as um, time goes on, but to see the growth um, and to see that is amazing. Um, I've made a lot of friends who um, sexual orientations are the same as mine or different from me or they've had different backgrounds and different upbringings. And um, it's just an amazing thing to see that. And so if I could give a piece of advice to someone who is struggling um, with their sexual orientation, um, I would definitely say just keep pushing. And I know it sounds hard to hear somebody say, well, just keep pushing. Um, it gets better. It gets easy. Um, but it really does. Um, at some point, you learn to love yourself. And you learn to accept um, just yourself. And I think that's the biggest thing. Um, even if you can't find acceptance with anyone else, you have to accept yourself. You have to love yourself. Um, and it gets better um, and there are people out there for you there are so many resources there are so many websites so many things you can google so much help out there um, yeah it gets better